Word is out, man. Uh, I know y'all heard about the man uh, saw some videos. All I was trying to do, man, was uh, keep my own things. Jesus Christ is Lord, yeah. Jesus Christ is Lord, yeah. If it is all, I would have told you. But see, you first the kingdom of God, and everything has been added to you. But see, you first the kingdom of God, and everything has been added to you. Okay, now, now this video is um, uh, this video seems to be accurate to me. It says the truth behind Jamie Foxx's disappearance. Okay, this video is from Sloan. 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 Shout out to Sloan for this video. Now, let's get it, guys. I want to watch it. Y'all want to watch it? I'm ready, man. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like the video that you watched at the beginning of this video, it's my music video. The link is in the description. Y'all can click on it. Go watch the video on my music channel. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Word is out, man. Uh, I know y'all heard about it. Man, uh, videos. They own you. God forbid something happens to you. I, I can be a mouthpiece, and I think they say hey, we got it. We, you know, the, the information that is out there, the information that they want to be out there. So, if we don't know by now, they don't want us to. Jamie Fox isn't doing well, and people are concerned. For months, he's been missing due to a secret medical condition. He's been in and out of hospitals, but nobody knows why. Sources are rushing to the press to push certain narratives, but it seems like his team has something to hide. So what's going on with Jamie Foxx? Let's get into it. A lot of people have been asking me to speak about Jamie Foxx because it doesn't seem like he's doing well. There have been reports of mental breakdowns, he's been in the hospital, and I'm concerned that his team is working against him. In April 2023, his daughter, Corinne Foxx, issued a statement on Instagram. We wanted to share that my father, Jamie Foxx, has experienced a medical complication. At this point, he was doing better, but at some point, he was really not okay, and all of his family was concerned word is out man uh i know y'all heard about man uh, saw some videos all i was trying to do man was uh keep my own things a source with direct knowledge told tmz that on april 10th 2023 that he was taken to the hospital and his condition was serious enough that his extended family flew in from out of town he has been open about his health in the past. He's talked about his struggle with substance abuse, and he even relates to Kanye West when it comes to Kanye West talking about the drugs that his team was giving him, how he was in the hospital and they kept feeding him this medication. Jamie says that he relates to that, which is really scary. We've seen a lot of celebrities push to their breaking points, and you know, Britney Spears was forced to work and was drugged for years. So I'm worried that Jamie Foxx, his team could be trying to get him out of here and it doesn't help that earlier this year he was struggling i don't think i don't think it is his team bro i don't think so i i, I don't just think so. this is one of the 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 pretty much the, one of the worst ex explanation i've heard this whole time this saying his team trying to take him out what no on set. In March 2023, he was in London filming a movie and he had a full on meltdown. Quote, there have been some issues on set and Jamie has had major meltdowns over it all. He has demanded the problems be sorted out immediately and sacked four of the production staff. Some people working on it are totally fed up with how this has played out and Jamie has become pretty unpopular. Well, one of the reasons why Jamie's so upset is because supposedly one of the staff tried to involve him in a $40,000 scam. This employee has supposedly gotten themselves in trouble before with wealthy celebrities and trying to scam them over. One source was quoted saying that a staffer has been fired and there are investigations after someone tried to get access to $30,000 in cash from Jamie Foxx. It sounds as if they tried to offer up a Rolex watch as part of a deal, but now there's an investigation into everything going on. Cameron Diaz has been working with Jamie Foxx on set of this movie and supposedly Cameron has been been really upset and concerned with these moments on set. And it seems like there's a lot of tension between these two. Cameron Diaz is breaking her silence on Jamie Foxx's mysterious health condition, and she finally revealed the truth about Jamie's alleged meltdown on the set of their movie Back in Action and what really got him in the hospital. You're making a movie? It's a perfect excuse. They own you. You're there 12 hours a day for months on end. You have no time for anything else. No, you go to set. Everybody wants to carry your bag and put you in. You know, you're not allowed to do anything. God forbid something happens to you. Then they can't finish. 
movie and you're already on film. I love how Cameron's explaining that because it does seem like it's really intense for these actors. They go away, they're away from their loved ones and their homes, and they're completely micromanaged. They probably lose some sense of reality of who they really are when everything's being done for them. And it looks like this movie is starting to run into issues and they are actually delaying it because of changes in production. Shortly after this announcement, we learned that Jamie Foxx is in the hospital and they are running tests and trying to figure out exactly what happened to him. We haven't had a lot of clarity on what could be going on with this man, but seeing everyone's response online, LeBron James, Kerry Washington, it seems like there's like pretty much sending like their rest in peace wishes. About 11 days after he went into the hospital and about a week after we learned about his health condition, we got an update that he was okay, he was awake and alert. Sources tell People Magazine that they want to make sure that he's perfectly stable before they release him. They're trying to keep his stress levels down, but unfortunately, we still don't know exactly when that will be. And it's interesting to see how some people are responding, because shortly after that, we got an update from Nick Cannon saying that, you know, Jamie Foxx is doing much better. And no offense to Nick Cannon, but he seems like someone who, if his team told him to go out and, like, spread a message, then he's just going to go and do what he's told. So I don't know if I necessarily believe what he has to say. I mean, we understand that he that he had a stroke and that he's recovering, but... You know, it's been sort of confusing. Can, can, are you comfortable giving an update on how he's doing? Do you know? Uh, if I, I, like I said, I, I'm, I'm probably in the same boat as, as you, uh, in that same sense of just knowing that, you know, as a, as a friend, just being as respectful as I can. I don't pry. I don't ask any other questions than other than the information that's given to me and, you know, what's asked of me. And I, I think in a scenario, what I've always said is just like, Hey, uh, I'm here for you, whatever you would like me to say, whatever you would like me to do. Sure. Uh, I, I can be a mouthpiece. And I think they say, hey, we got it. We, you know, the, the information that is out there is the information that they want to be out there. So I like how Nick Cannon admits to being a mouthpiece. Like he's just saying the information they want out there is out there. I just have the same information. Like he. Did he actually speak to Jimmy Fox? I doubt it. Nick Cannon must not have had the right information because in May we learned that people are still trying to pray for Jamie and that he was still in the hospital. He actually posts on his Instagram at this point and writes, appreciate all the love, feeling blessed. But we still don't know exactly what had happened to him. Was it a stroke? Was it an issue of drugs and stress? I mean, what could it be? There are even some conspiracies about like the COVID vaccine and things like that, which I don't even want to get into. But about a month after he was put into the hospital, he was released. And it seems like right after he's out, he's right back to work. Because a day later, they announced that they are coming out with a show. That he and his daughter are hosting a new game show. They're hosting a show titled We Are Family. Which I think is just really bizarre to announce, like, literally right after he's out of the hospital. It kind of reminds me of, like, Britney Spears. Like, as soon as they got her out of the facility, they put her right back to work. But it doesn't seem like Jimmy Fox is fully recovered covered yet because he allegedly did suffer from a stroke and had to go to a facility in Chicago to further recover. And at this point, it seems like he's you know, suffered a stroke, but we still don't understand like what could have caused that. Was it the stress from on set or could it be something else? Mike, are you following what's going on with uh, Jamie Foxx? He's not feeling well. Something's going on with Yeah, this is a stroke. I have no idea what happened to him. We were at a restaurant a couple months ago in, in L.A. The catch, yes, yeah, catch. Yes, yes. And he showed up and looked really good. And then all of a sudden you hear the stories about uh, Jamie Vaughn was a Chicago rehab facility. <clears throat> hey, listen, we can't anticipate our next breath. We don't know when we're going to die. After we leave this, bad stuff could happen. You know, I don't know what's going to happen now. Has there been any actual news is, uh, news on what this medical condition is. I mean, Jimmy Fox is a young, vibrant, healthy guy. If we don't know by now, they don't want us to know. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, this video is not telling me nothing I don't know. Uh, shout out to them for making this video. I appreciate it. But still, I don't, I don't, I don't think... It's really pretty much everything I already watch. Everything I already watch is... I mean, there's, there's probably more... There's more than half of this video left, but... I, I don't know, man. I don't know. There's really nothing that I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. If you want to watch this video, go to Sloan. Go to Sloan. Go to Sloan and watch it. Shout out to him for this video. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hollywood is Hollywood. And it's always going to be Hollywood. And is it going to get worse than this? Yeah, I'm saying. It's going to get worse than this. Why? Because the devil is working. The devil is working harder than he usually works. You get what I'm saying? 
Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to click that subscribe button, like this video, like this video. You know what I'm saying? Click the link in the description. Check out the links in the description. You know what I mean, if you want to watch my music video, click the link. It's going to be in the description. You can go and watch it. You can subscribe to my other YouTube channel. So follow me on Facebook, Patreon, and all that. You know what I'm saying? All the links are in the description. I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to put God first. God is everything. You know what I mean? Your book,